So how important do you think are clothes in the art of lovemaking? Well, there is an almost forgotten position that the Kama Sutra talks about where an item of clothing is used as part of the sexual act. Now, I'm going to tell you about this position, but I do not advise you to try this one at home at all. So, for this particular position, the woman is supposed to wear a loose pair of trousers, like a salwar or a pair of harem pants. At the start of the act, the woman loosens the trousers and lets them drop to her heels. She then bends all the way down as though to pull them up, but actually places her head between her feet so that her neck is in the trousers. At this moment, it is suggested that the man who is standing behind her should grab her legs and flip her onto her back, basically making her perform a somersault. And then, with his own legs curved under him, he should penetrate her. Now, as I said, I would not really try this one at home at all. But really, I don't think this position was ever meant to be tried. I think it was more to show you how you could be creative in your sex life. The Kama Sutra suggests that different styles of clothes, the different colors, different textiles, all play a very important part in lovemaking to make it just a little bit more different, a little bit more exciting because variety after all is the spice of life.